Hey guys, welcome back into the video. So, so Sony is once again crying to the CMA about the whole Activision acquisition by Microsoft that is currently get, getting investigated by all the major governments around the world. So, and the CMA is is now launching a second, you know, a second phase of the of their investigation. There we go. On Thursday, the competition, the CMA has said its inquiry into the merger has officially been expanded to a second phase due to a number of antitrust concerns. Notably, the CMA is worried about the impact the deal could have on PlayStation's ability to compete, given that the, the deal would see Microsoft gain ownership of the Call of Duty franchise. Do you know how much water is used up every time you flush the toilet? I give. What? Three gallons. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. Wow, what a waste. <laughs> I don't know why, why CMA, I gotta ask, why, why the hell are you trying to protect the market leader? Did you all forget how he, how Sony got into the industry when they, when they acquired a publisher back in the 90s? I think it was named like Sinex or something like that. I can't remember. Like, this was like so long ago. So, I mean, so literally Sony has acquired a publisher before. And that's literally how they got into the industry in the first place. And shut them down. So, like, that's that's like how Sony got in into the industry in general. Outside of the whole, remember the whole thing where Nintendo screwed them over and all that. So yeah, thanks Nintendo for you know essentially creating you know creating the PlayStation. Good job by screwing over Sony. Great job there. Brilliant idea. Anyway, and Sony is I'm and Sony is crying once again about the acquisition. So let's see what they had to say. Sony welcomed the news that the CMA is to expand its inquiry in a statement issued by GamingIndustry.biz. By giving Microsoft control of Activision games like Call of Duty, this deal would have major negative implications for gamers and, and the future of the gaming industry. Oh, really, Sony? Really? You get what you fucking deserve! Oh, really? You, you really want to go there, huh? Funny. I find this real fucking funny. Because, what? Take a look at this, the same goddamn day that it came out that Sony was crying to, to the CMA about it. They announced this. An, ex an exclusive, you know, skin pack for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Really? really? And they've been doing this shit for years, okay? You know, I can li I could go off. I can go off on, on a tangent here. Let's see. Marvel Spider-Man. Is that on Xbox? Nope. And that and that's a licensed IP. Wolverine is that coming to Xbox? Nope, that's a licensed IP. Uh, Street Fighter Five did that come to Xbox? Nope. Uh, let's see, what else was it? Hmm. Let's see, Final Fantasy Six. Final Fantasy Sixteen is that coming to Xbox? Apparently not. Let's see, Final Fantasy Seven remake is that coming? No. Hell, it should be by now because it's an exclusive deal, and, and yet it hasn't. So what does that tell you? So. I, I can keep going on and on. Oh, let's see, let's forget the newest the newest example, that that Project Eve. Y'all remember that? Cause that was actually announced a couple years ago to be a multi-plat, but now it's a PlayStation 5 console exclusive. You see where I'm going here? So many, so many, well, I was like all innocent, but when you look into their history, they are full. They are so full of shit. Like they are terrified. They do not want Xbox to compete. They want to stifle competition. They just want to stay dominant and hinder competition in the gaming industry. It is proven that they have done this for freaking years. And now that Xbox is actually, you know, trying to compete, Sony is scared as shit. And Sony, um, my, if you really think you can't rely on Call of Duty, um, might want to go ask Nintendo that, considering that Call of Duty is not on the Switch, and it hasn't been, eh, there has not been a Call of Duty game ever released for the Switch. The, the last Call of Duty game to ever be released on a Nintendo platform was Ghosts on the Wii U. And is Nintendo and Nintendo's doing just fine. I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay. But let me finish. We want to guarantee PlayStation gamers will continue to have the highest. I just read that. You know, I, I kind of went over that. Earlier this month, Xbox boss Phil Spencer said Microsoft had committed to making Call of Duty available in PlayStation for several more years after Sony's current marketing deal with Activision expires. During this period, Call of Duty games to release for a place you have feature and concept parity. Yeah, well, yeah, Sony won't give that si won't give that same guarantee like Microsoft has. Oh, and it's funny. You know what's kind of hilarious? After the whole act, the whole Call of Duty event yesterday. Well, what should look at this? Pre-order game open in early access, and guess who gets it first? PlayStation exclusively. So once again, Sony's doing the anti-consumer shit, and 
And this has been going on with Call of Duty for a while. See? Look at this, Black Ops 4. Play sh PS4 exclusive, play new content first. World, World War II. PlayStation exclusive, play map packs 30 days early. M Modern Warfare 20... I Modern Warfare 2019. That, that year's wrong, by the way. PlayStation 4 exclusive, play... First on PS4. They held... Think about this. They've been holding modes for an entire fucking year. Year. Black Ops 3 playing new map packs 30 days early. You kind of get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? And Call of Duty isn't the only multiplayer that they do this shit with. You kind of, you see where I'm going with this? Congratulations. You played yourself. Yeah, you, you played yourself, Sony. You, like, you just exposed yourself as a massive hypocrite once again, like you've been doing throughout this whole operation. It's just, and I can, and Microsoft is probably getting pretty pissed off now. <laughs> so, man, they're probably getting really pissed now. So, I mean, you're not doing yourself any favors, Sony, so you really want to piss off, keep pissed off Microsoft, go ahead, because it, it's highly entertaining. So, <laughs> it's highly entertaining. So let's, let's, so let's finish off this article, shall we? Sony Interactive CEO Jim Ryan, who's reportedly seeking access to future Call of Duty games on equal terms and perpetually responded by calling Microsoft's proposal inadequate on many levels. The current Call of Duty deal between Sony Activision is believed to cover Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 in a new game from developer Treyarch, which may not arrive until 2024. You see what I mean? So it's so hilarious. It, it's, it's hilarious, really. To see Sony acting here like this when they've been doing some of those anti competitive shit. Let's see, raising the price on their PS5. Uh, let's see, you know, locking content for, for multiplayer games, even and even making third party games exclusive to to PlayStation. I know people like to bring up how Microsoft used to do the same thing with Call of Duty, but that was like in the 360 gen, and even then, they didn't lock modes. It was only mass for 30 days, which for the most part, Sony was doing too. But they, recently, they started doing entire modes. I say locking entire modes is way worse than locking modes for a, not modes, but maps for a month. So, so out of the two, Sony's is way worse, in my humble opinion. Just saying. So it's really it's pretty fucking funny to see Sony here acting like a whole bunch of hypocrites when when they've been doing this shady shit. So, and oh, oh one more example I forgot, which was Kotor. You know the Kotor remake. That was like historically known as an Xbox game. Now it's a Sony exclusive for that. It's apparently timed, but who the who the hell knows? You know, especially with the disaster that game is turning out to be. Who knows? But I mean, there's plenty more examples out there, and I'm sure there'll be more that come out about it. So you see what I mean? Sony's out here being, you know, I think Jess Corden said it perfectly. This isn't. A, I don't think this is about Call of Duty like being on it. Being exclusive to Xbox, I don't think Call of Duty ever will be, to be honest with you. And personally, I could care less, to be honest with you. What it really, what it is really about is Sony wants to stifle competition so they can keep their market leader status and dominate the gaming industry. Their moves have proven it, time and time again. And why do you, why do you think people, like, people are kind of pissed at them right now with them? Even... If you notice that Sony, not Sony, but Microsoft and Nintendo are not raising the price of the PS5, but Sony is. What does that tell you? Sony, Sony just wants more money out of you. You know, they essentially treat their own freaking gamers as fucking wallets. So, I mean, say what you, I know people, like, Microsoft has done shady shit in the past. Don't get me wrong. I completely agree with you. You know, for example, them trying to raise the price of gold last year. Just saying. And look at, and Nintendo isn't raising the price of Switch either, either but... That'll be even more egregious since that one is much older, <laughs> and the tech in that system is pretty ancient now. But that's not the point. Like Sony, Sony's out here trying to stifle competition. Oh, that's, oh, another thing I, I almost I just remembered that they, they've been trying to block cr uh, crossplay by making developers pay to crossplay between all three platforms. Microsoft and Nintendo aren't making devs do it, but Sony is. What does that tell you? How anti-consumer Sony has been for a while. So I'm just saying, like, Sony, what happened to you during the eighth gener during the beginning of the eighth generation, huh? What happened there? Oh wait, you oh wait, you got to oh wait, you got arrogant from from essentially just utterly destroying the Xbox One and the Wii U. Like you got arrogant again, and I think we're seeing that now with all these anti-consumer moves Sony's been doing lately. It's pretty freaking obvious. So 
Yeah, so Sony, continue being hypocrites, because eventually, I think it'll, it'll, it'll catch up to you. So, so how about, hey Sony, instead of relying on just Call of Duty, how about you actually, you know, make some of your most talented studios actually make a first person shooter of your own? So, just saying, because Nintendo has Splatoon, and that is doing really well. Microsoft has Halo, but let's be real, Microsoft's management of Halo has been pretty bad for the last decade, let's be real here. But that's not the point. What I'm getting at is Sony, how about actually you actually try to make an FPS for once instead of, you know, money having exclusive deals. Just a thought. And stop relying on third parties so much. And actually and actually come out with a first person IP uh, sure IP of your own. I'm just saying, huh? I'm just saying, man. You know, do because clearly I think, you know, that that's certainly a weak spot in Sony's lineup. So just saying, you know. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say at this point because like, this is just hilarious by Sony. Man, they are pieces of shit by doing by doing all this crap. It's just hilarious to see them cry, li cry li like the fanboys do. It's pretty hilarious. So, anyway, what do you guys think of this? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.